Good morning, Jaffra Beauties. It's Jackie Peppy, and it is January 29th, um, and this is Marketing Monday. I'm so glad that you could join us today. We have a super fun little meeting all about what goes on in here uh, controlling the outside world, right? So a couple of mantras for our Monday morning. Let's start here. May your star spark be strong and your Monday be inspiring. Monday's the beginning of every week. We can get a clean slate. We can do our business in a fresh way. Every Monday can be a relaunch day for someone in your team, someone um, that wants to start over. So today is that day. Let us have a fresh start. Um, and then today, it is Mindset Monday. You become what you think. And I know that sounds crazy and that sounds trite and it sounds like woo-woo nonsense, but you truly control everything around you right from here. Um, and the reactions to what happened to us um, can be controlled as well. But today, I have a super special guest. It's my friend and yours, Betty Green. Let me take my screen off and let me give Betty a little spotlight and I'll come with you too so you don't feel so by yourself. <laughs> so everyone, I want to give you a short little story and then I'm going to give Betty some questions to answer. Does that sound fair? Mm -hmm. Um our little intro is this. When I met Betty, she was a manager. She was struggling. She dropped in title and we worked together to get her right, right here um, through our future manager program to reset the way that she approached her business. And spoiler alert, she re-promoted. So we, we worked on getting our brains wrapped around expecting success. So that is a huge um, through line in the story. But let's all give a sweet little round of applause and welcome to Betty Green. Yay! Hi, everybody. Betty's on the road, as always. So we get her from the car, but we get her how we get her. And we're so thrilled about it. <laughs> Where in the world are you right now, Betty? So um, we're home right now, but and I'm between appointments. We leave for South Carolina on Thursday. So um, here we are. Perfect. Uh, between appointments, yeah. It's perfect. So can you tell me and tell everyone um, a little bit about what went through your head when you decided to, well, first, when you demoted, what went through your brain when you lost your title this last time? So of course I was very discouraged. Um, I, um, I have a small team and I was, um, oh, struggling. We go to Mexico in January. So it's, you can't do your business, uh, a, a, a hands-on business, a, a, a person to person business, um, touching people in Mexico. So, um, and I really didn't, um, do, um, phone calls I could have but didn't and didn't do a lot of emails uh, home so I didn't really work my business well, I could have in uh, Mexico and didn't um, and so that started the the grace periods and then that went from there and so uh, very disappointed that um, lost my title very discouraged um, for a couple months after that and then I joined the future leaders is that what it was called yeah. uh group and um and I said enough of that <laughs> I'm really sick of that and I had a mind shift switch I just said enough of that um and decided that I was going to re-promote and you know it really that self-talk is so really important and um and it's as Jackie said, you know, I, I started to expect, um, a different response. And, and, um, as we were talking earlier, um, I said, it's certainly the company helped, you know, you can't, you know, if you're going to sell somebody defy for $198 or 197, whatever it is at that point in time. And the, the kit is $200. You can't sell it to them. You need to sponsor them. And so that's what I did as I, I expected them to sign to become a member because it's such a great deal. 
And um, that's what I did. What was, and you've already said it, but I want to hit this word. What was the magic word that sort of changed everything? I expect it. What, what does that mean to you? So, so when I was speaking to them, I, 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 I spoke, um, uh, with the expectation that that was best for them. It was best for them to do, to, to become a member of Jafra to, uh, and, and I just expected them to do it. I just, I, I knew that they would do it because it was the best for them. It was the best option. It was the and best option, right. When you give them a menu of options, the this, expectation was that they would choose the best one, right? Right, and I know other people choose the the, the lesser kid and, and the packs and, and everything, but for me, I felt that this was the best option and it qualified them, but uh, it just was the best option. So when you changed the way you thought from scarcity, they don't want what I have to offer. They don't want to hear from me. They don't want to hear my voice. They don't want to be offered anything. When you changed from scarcity to expectation, abundance, mm -hmm. what started happening? Then I sponsored um, several, I can't even remember, uh, en enough. It was a lot, yeah. Thought, yeah. Lot. <laughs> and I have to tell you, I have for years come from the voice of scarcity. I, I mean, years, years and years, being afraid and um, not, um, not realizing what we had. It really has been only since I rebooted my business, I don't know, nine years ago. Um, and um, realizing what we have, and even in the beginning of that, and even until very recently, still uh, fall back into that. Um, but that mindset, I, I it, it's we have so much in this, and and that, which is why I went to Mexico with somebody's name from Mexico, so I could when I gave my gifts in Mexico, I could tell them I could give them a name of somebody to 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 contact because I believe in what we have I'm sorry I that was that. no I love <laughs> that I think it's important and I think when you're sharing from a genuine place of abundance there's enough room for everyone there's enough Jeffra for everyone there's enough business opportunity for everyone it becomes less scrambly less I have to do this to make my minimums to do this to do that and it right. just becomes a really open sharing experience that's just like it feeds your your soul instead of feeling depleted at the right. end of it. yeah so okay so going through and having experiences changing your brain what is something that you could do today and that we could all do today that might change the way that we interact with our, our mindset. Like, is there anything that you could say, anything that your experience would, would suggest that you could do today to change the way you think? I'm sorry. I had a phone I call. I heard a phone call. <laughs> oh, can you repeat your question? I'm so yeah. sorry. No, don't worry. Is there anything that you could do or say to yourself today? If you were in a slump or if anybody here was slumping, is there any, anything that you could do or say that would change the way that your brain thinks in a really immediate way? So, so I'm in a little bit of a slump here because I went on vacation and, um, that's problematic. And um, so I have to do something. Excuse me one second. What do you need from me? So I have to give him a planner. So here you okay, go. Okay. We're living so, our lives on the road. Sorry. So so, um, so I so went to Mexico, didn't do my business again. So um, so um, I am going to South Carolina. And so as we were having a conversation, I said, well, I'm not very good at this. And so I, in the conversation, actually changed my wording. So I am, my wording was, 
in the past, I haven't been very good at prospecting. Um, I already, as we were talking in the few minutes we were talking, already formulated a new plan that um, we have to have positive self-talk. We can't, we can't be thinking about what we've done in the past and how we've done in the past. We have to think about our small goals. I, I'm not one who sets pie in the sky goals because I cannot, I do not do well with that. I set goals that are within my reach. So here's what, I, here's an example. So I have a hairdresser down there that um, is lovely. And um, I gave her some, I gave her some gifts last year. So this year I'm going to go in person to set up my appointment. And I'm going to say, I have some gifts for you. When can I drop them off? And I'd like to talk to you a little bit. So I'm going to bring gifts and I'm going to do a maybe back of the hand facial with her. I'm going to see if I can get her involved in Jaffra. That is my type of goal. And so I am going to start when I get down there right away um, doing my business. I didn't do my business at all last year down in South Carolina. This year I'm going to. So that is my goal. I'm going to do my business. So I didn't, I did not do well last year at that. But this year my goal is to do well at that. So it's just changing that mindset to do better, to do something different. I was not successful. I'm not going to do that same thing that I did so, last year. So what I'm hearing is to create really simple road stops along the way that you can feel the success build. That works for me so much better than mm -hmm. trying to reach something that has, it's, it doesn't, Oh, you muted. Come back. <laughs> my favorite is the, oh my gosh, when someone realizes that they've muted. That's my favorite. <laughs> I have to have these little stops on the way. I have to feel successful. Um, I have to feel successful on my way. I have to have, I have to, I like that little recognition. I like that little, I like that step about recognition. And I like, um, I like, I like to know that I'm, I'm reaching something along the way. So that's, that's, that's very helpful to me. I so love that to too, because if we set ourselves small little bites, small little dopamine hits, you know, we stay really motivated to keep moving forward, right? And so for me, and I know for a lot of you, because we all work together, that when we take those small measured steps to accomplish what we want, our brain feeds on the joy and our right. mind gets addicted to the way that it feels to keep the promise to yourself, right? Yeah. Um, my, my last question for you is this, if you had no conditions, if everything was unlimited to you, what would your brain tell you to do next? Oh, we didn't I didn't about... set her up for this one. <laughs> Cause I wanted an off the cuff, uh, off the cuff answer. What is the, the next thing for Betty with nothing holding her back? Oh, the next thing for me with nothing holding me back. Um, oh, this is really hard. So, um, <laughs> uh, well, I would, I would, um, actually, I would, because uh, I know none of them are on the call. Um, I, I would, I would, um, I would sponsor a whole new team <laughs> with nothing holding me back. I need workers. I, I want a team that wants to be with me and wants to work with me. Um, isn't that terrible? I, I no, hope that's a horrible thing to say, not but terrible I terrible because I, you I, want a team with certain goals, right? So what's holding you back? from finding them 
Um, I have not had the right mindset, but I now have a good mindset that I'm going to find them. I might find them all in South Carolina, which would be okay because I'll just go visit them. I I, I um, fly for free most of the time. <laughs> it sounds perfect to me. Fly to the warm because we're both in the snow right now. Fly to the warm and go visit your new team that you're going to build in South Carolina while you're there. And the ones that I sponsor in the next um, week and a half, I'll bring them to Charlotte with me. How's that? Perfect. <laughs> Let's all hug in Charlotte. There, there we go. Round of applause, Betty, because you broke through the boundary that said that you had limitations. You don't. There are no limitations. The only limitations are in here. So tear them down. Tear down the walls, guys. I have to tell you, my husband, who's sitting next to me now, um, helped me with that answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's a star, ladies and gents. He's a star. <laughs> Guys, round of applause for Betty. We always love to hear about everything that you're working on. And I love you. And I know everyone else does, too. Thank you. Thank you, um, friend. I'll listen from now on because I don't want to bounce around as we drive. Perfect. I approve. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. We love you, Betty. Yay. <laughs> so let me end the recording and then we can have that one for sharing and we'll come right back.